Good afternoon. Welcome to this meeting of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Siting, and Maritime Uses. I'm Council Member Adrian Adams, the chair of this subcommittee. We're joined today by Council Members Koo, Traeger, Barron, and Miller. Today, we will be hearing and voting on pre-considered LU application number 20195227, SCK, submitted by the New York City School Construction Authority, pursuant to section 1732 of the Public Authority's Law for approval of a site selection for a new, approximately 322-seat primary school facility to be located at 250 through 266 46th Street on the mid-block corner of 46th Street and 2nd and 3rd Avenues. Borough of Brooklyn, Council District 38, Community School District Number 15. I now call on SCA to testify on the site selection. Our panelists are Tammy Richelson, Rachelson and Gail, is it Mandan? Mandaro, thank you very much. Before you begin, Council will swear you in. Please raise your right hand and state your names. Tammy Rachelson. Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before this committee and in answer to all council member questions? Yes, I do. Okay, you may begin. Okay. Good afternoon, Chairperson Adams and council members. My name is Tammy Rachelson, and I'm senior manager for project operations in the New York City School Construction Authority's real estate department. Also with me is Gail Mandaro, Senior Director and Senior Attorney for Real Estate Services. The SCA has undertaken site, the site selection process for a new approximately 322-seat primary school facility on Block 754, Lots 27, 29, 30, 32, and 34 in Brooklyn. Site contains approximately 15,000 square feet of lot area almost a third of an, about a third of an acre and is located mid-block on 46th between 2nd and 3rd avenues. Site is comprised of five privately owned lots in the Sunset Park section of Brooklyn and is improved by a paved area on four lots and a two-story commercial building on the remaining lot. The site is located within Brooklyn Community District Number 7 and Community School District 15. Under the proposed project, the SCA would acquire the site, construct a new approximately 322-seat primary school facility. The proposed school would serve as the permanent home for the nearby PS1 annex, which is currently in a small leased facility. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post and City Record on November 13, 2018, at which time the Community Education Council Number 15, Brooklyn Community Board 7, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. The Community Education Council and Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on the proposed site plan. Brooklyn Community Board 7 and CEC 15 held a joint public hearing on November 14, 2018, and written comments were not received. The SCA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan pursuant to section 1731 of the New York Public Authorities Law. In accordance with section 1732 of the Public Authorities Law, the SEA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council by letter dated April 12, 2019. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer any questions from the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony today. Are there any questions from the committee? Councilmember Barron? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you to the panel for coming. In your, in your testimony, you say that there was a joint public hearing held November 14th. 2018, what was the consensus of the persons who were there? I don't see any kind of summary as to what okay. the consensus Okay, uh, as I said, neither the CEC or the community board submitted written comments, but I was not at the meeting, but from what I understood, um, the only issue came up, there were some concerns about traffic. Traffic, okay. And the privately owned site, the owner is willing to negotiate to Yes, sell? we're in contract. 
and uh, we've reached a negotiated settlement with the owner. Okay, good, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Councilmember Miller? Is it possible Absolutely. to the side would have the visuals there? Mm hmm So um, it was my understanding from the last hearing that we held on this property that there are um, the owner of this property owns several properties over here and was some concern as to whether or not other portions would be available to um, have a greater impact on the building, um, say green space, park space, or whatever it is that the children would need to, uh, to have a, a, a more holistic impact on their educational experience. Have we explored that? And are we limited to um, the space to assist uh, one or two lots? Well, this was one owner who owned the five contiguous lots. Um, we're in discussions um, since this became public, you know, since we started public review, one of the owners on the on 47th Street has indicated they may be willing to sell. So the site may expand, we're not sure. But right now we know we're in contract pending statutory approvals for these five lots on 46th Street. And, and based on the public testimony and public interest, um, there is a, there would be a plan in place to, to uh, utilize the additional space um, if that space were to become available? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Are there any more questions? All right, I would like to read into the record the um, statement by Councilmember Menchaca in whom's district this application lies. Dear Chair Adams, based on consultation with numerous parents in the Sunset Park community, I support application number 2019-5227-SCK, a 322 seat primary school on 46th Street in Sunset Park. As I've said many times, overcrowding in Sunset Park schools is a serious problem, and I appreciate the School Construction Authority's successful efforts to plan a number of new schools in my district. I also understand that this location, across 3rd Avenue and in the IBZ, is controversial and has raised concerns around public safety and impacts on manufacturing businesses. I hear those concerns. I would appreciate, I would like, I would, I'm sorry, I would therefore like to ask SCA to commit to joining me and the Southwest Brooklyn Industrial Development Corporation in a meeting with nearby industrial businesses. The goal of this meeting is to collaborate to identify any feasible strategies to mitigate impacts on the industrial business zone. I want to again thank SCA for their efforts through District 38. I hope the agency can agree to this request and support our efforts to balance the needs of our growing residential communities with the needs of our important industrial district. Thank you. Sincerely, Carlos Menchaca, New York City Council Member 38 District. Okay, thank you very much for your testimony. Are there any uh, members of the public who wish to testify on these items? Seeing none, the public hearing on this pre-considered LU is now closed. We will now vote to approve pre-considered LU application number 20195227SCK for the site selection of a 322 seat primary school facility on property located at 250-266 46th Street in the borough of Brooklyn, Council District 38, Community School District 15. Council, please call the roll. Adams. I vote aye. Barron. I vote aye. Koo. Aye. Miller. Aye. Traeger. New school seats. Yes. <laughs> I vote a five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. The item is recommended to the full land use committee. Thank you very much uh, once again for everyone who is here today. This is absolutely uh, uh, this committee's favorite subject to vote on. We know the need for new school seats. Thank you very much. That concludes today's business. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. The meeting is hereby adjourned.